merit of a bit of everything that you see in a big country. Um, we have uh, infrastructure that is on the ground, underground, above the ground, infrastructure that will never be seen, uh, like you'll see some in this video series that is well under the riverbed that is more than 60, 70 feet underground. And um, it, it's exciting to, to understand a bit of what's happening around us. Um, you know, it might inspire our children, might help us, help us to understand uh, some of our relatives or our peers that are involved in technology and appreciate them a little better. But more importantly, it will give us a, a better sense of pride that there's more than meets the eye. Well, I'm a wealth of knowledge myself. I've served 33 years with government, and I've had involvement in the private sector as well. Uh, for example, this year I trained 10 of the key technical staff at BTL. Um, and so it's, it's always a pleasure to pass on knowledge. And this episode is so, is so far-reaching, and yet even though there's uh, te technical explanations, Steve Odell did a good job at simplifying most of it such that the entire family could sit down and enjoy the show. Two months of shooting, uh, the episode's finished. Uh, first, first time ever viewed video uh, by Belizeans of things like a little sneak peek. We filmed all of the Bee Call dams, uh, interior and exterior. We filmed the saving of a man's life with a cardiologist here with a new hospital in Belize City. We covered the uh, bringing in of container ships and also uh, uh, tankers, oil tankers, in, during rough seas of uh, the tugboats of Belize City, of uh, servicing the Belize port. Very exciting footage. I was enthused to see, I always like to see when Belizeans do very technical stuff. I remember the days when we were on expatriate leadership in the colonial era. In fact, I worked on a British chief engineer, for example. And it was a nice feeling to see myself as a boy from Belize City that became the chief engineer. And so when I went to BTL, for example, or to SMART, and I see a, a technician that is the switching guru of one of these entities, it's impressive, it's impressive to know that only a decade ago, a foreigner had to hold that position. I think we have made, we've made a, the giant leap in the past 10 to 15 years in a sense that um, basically everything you see out there in the first world country that is essential to communication, to development, is in place. We may not have an IMAX cinema, but I think I saw in the newspaper this weekend, um, Princess Hotel will set up their first uh, 3D theater.